Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and this is part two of my small printer big print series starring Iceman, sculpted by Wicked. Now in this video, you're gonna be able to see the ice base as well as Iceman himself. And if you wanna go back and take a look at the very first video in this series, that one is all about the ice ramp. So be sure to either check the link in the description or click the card above my head somewhere in the corner so that you can check out that video as well. And if you like these videos, then you definitely want to stay tuned for next week because part three is going to be the final reveal. I'm going to show you the main base as well as everything when it's completely assembled. All right. So I do want to thank Ace Adity for providing me with all the resin that I needed in order to pull this off. If you want to check out some of their products in their resin, check the link in the description. It'll take you to their website where you can check it out there. All right. So without further ado, let's take a look at this ice base and Iceman. So this is what I'm using in order to help me figure out how this all goes together because the ramp and the ice base alone are about 14 pieces. So this is an X pose file that Wicked provides just in case you have to put pieces together. So this teaches me how that works. So these pieces are identical to the ones that I have and I just kind of just follow this diagram. I take a picture of it with my phone and then just try to replicate it. So they have all the pegs and all the inserts right here so that you can see. And then down here with the ice base, this was really, really helpful to me so that I can uh, get a sense of how this all works together and how these pieces basically go side by side instead of really being like up and down. It helped me to understand it better to know that these are just kind of coming together from left to right or from right to left, depending on how you want to look at it. And then here's the main base down there at the bottom, which is easier to figure out since it's only uh, a few pieces. But yeah, this is extremely helpful. So if you need to piece together a figure from Wicked and it comes in a lot of different pieces like this, be sure to also download the Xpose file. And I have this open in Microsoft 3D Builder to make it very easy for you to figure out how to put it together. All right, everybody. So this is the ice base, almost 100% complete, but I did manage to roughly assemble it without glue, just kind of giving you a look at what it's going to look like when it actually is glued and 100% complete. So this is the general shape of it all. Now, this is pretty cool because these are actually fingers from what I'm assuming is a sentinel. And there are also some individual finger parts for like the top of the finger that I'm also going to have to print and attach to some of these points here just to give it more of a hand look. But it looks pretty good all on its own. And uh, yeah, and even though this base, once it's all put together, it's laying pretty much flat on the ground on the on the table. So it's not going to be like falling all over the place, but there's still another base that goes under this. And that's kind of why I'm holding off on gluing everything together, because I just want to make sure that this is going to fit snugly onto the X-Men base uh, that's going to be printed in the gray resin. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ice ramp and I'm going to roughly put it together and then put it on top of this so that you can see what the ice ramp and what the ice base looks like when they're both all together. This is what the ice ramp and the ice base is roughly going to look like once everything is put together. Uh, nothing is put together right now. Nothing is glued. I just roughly put these together and try to prop them up so that you can get an idea of how the ice base is going to look with the ice ramp on top once everything is glued together. And then you have this one piece here that's gonna go right there. And then Iceman is gonna have one of his feet down here and then another foot is gonna be right there because there's like a little indentation for his other foot. And uh, yeah. Looking pretty good once it's all together. And that Xpose file really helped to make things easier to understand. Now, what I also have to print out, there are three finger attachments that I need to print as well. And those finger attachments are basically going to go in different sections over here where you see, like right there, there's gonna be a finger right there. I think another one might be right here, maybe. 
and then there's going to be another one right there so three fingers and i originally set those fingers up to be printed in um, gray resin but after looking at it i'm going to have to re-slice the file and uh, i'm just going to make those blue once again so yeah we are very close to completing all of the printed pieces at which point i just have to assemble them all spray them down with that clear gloss and uh, check out the final product in the end all right you guys so let me show you our main character iceman i had to print him out in a handful of different parts this is iceman's upper body i managed to print him all out in one piece on the build plate it was almost a little bit challenging since you can see how wide his arm span is, but I was able to do it. And one thing that I do like about this resin is in the thinner pieces, it gives it a nice lighter blue. And then in the thicker parts of the figure, you see that it uh, becomes a darker blue. So I kind of like how his hands there have that lighter shade. That's very nice. And then for the other parts of Iceman's body, I had to print it out in different pieces because I couldn't fit it on the build plate because his legs are so wide. So here is his waist. It's going to attach to his body there. And then this is one of his uh, upper legs. And then I have the same thing for his other leg as well. This leg right here is going to go down into a spot on the ramp and then the other one is going to be just attached to the base where there's a little indentation. Now I am going to wait until um, all the pieces are printed for the base before I go gluing it together but for Iceman I think I'll be good with putting him together right now. I think that he should be good. And another thing that I want to show you guys right before I do that are the two different heads that I printed out. So this is the Iceman head with hair. And here's another Iceman head with shorter hair. All right, so I'm not gonna glue the head on because what I wanna do is I wanna ask you guys, which head should I use for this Iceman? And the most comments about either one, that's the one that I'm gonna use. So should I use the Iceman with the hair or the Iceman with shorter hair? Let me know down in the comments. But for now, I'm gonna glue this guy together. And you're going to be able to see Iceman as well as the rest of this awesome sculpture in part three of the small printer big print series when it drops next Saturday. So that's going to be September the 9th, 2023. You'll be able to see everything in its full glory. So I hope that you subscribe and come back so that you can check that out. So until then, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.